What is up everybody, Shwayze here, and in today's video, we're going to find out what the market value is of my 2021 Ford Bronco. Now, in order to figure out this value, we're gonna do a couple different things in today's video. First and foremost, we're gonna take this over to CarMax and see what they appraise this vehicle at. Uh, just so you guys are aware, this is about seven months old since I took delivery and it has just shy of 5,000 miles on it. So keep that in the back of your mind when you're hearing the figures in today's video. Then I'm going to look up what Carvana and Vroom are going to offer me for this particular vehicle and then compare the three main used car buyers and see which one's gonna offer the most bang for your buck with this Ford Bronco. Now, as a side note, I have no plans to sell this car anytime in the near future, but it is always nice to know what vehicles are selling for, specifically in today's market, which I don't think I need to summarize what's going on here in February and March of 2022, where vehicles are selling for insane markups. Vehicles like Toyota Camrys and Honda Civics, not even very desirable cars that are in low supply and high demand like these 2020 and 2022 Ford Bronco. And then after we find out what Carvana Vroom and CarMax offer me for this vehicle, I'm going to then look up what used cars of this age and this much mileage are selling for on some used car websites like Auto Trader or Car Gurus, and then give you a summary at the end to show you what the differences are between the trade in value and the market value when it comes to Car Gurus or AutoTrader.com. Okay, now let's talk about what I think this vehicle is going to be appraised for and what I think the market value is. So if you guys saw my video from over the summer, I told you exactly how much I paid for this car. And in case you don't recall, that MSRP was $42,050. So just around 42 grand for this 2021 Ford Bronco in Area 51 with the Big Ben trim level. Now I did not pay any markup thankfully, but I also did not get a discount. Now this trim level is just above the base trim level. So it's a pretty basic vehicle. There's really not that much to it. It doesn't have the SAS Squatch package. It's not like the most capable off-road vehicle, but to be completely honest, seeing as how supply and demand is so out of whack for this vehicle and even if you place an order today you're likely waiting about two years to take delivery in fact there's people who are still day one reservation holders who haven't taken delivery of this car with all that information in mind i think i could easily go ahead and sell this vehicle right now today for anywhere between 50 to fifty-five thousand dollars. now that sounds insane but i honestly think that's probably the reality seeing as how people are paying at least ten thousand dollars markup if if they happen to find a Bronco out there where the customer ordered it but then backed out of their order, those dealerships are going ahead and flipping them for at least a $10,000 markup, oftentimes even more than that. So even though I'm not a dealership and this isn't a brand new vehicle, I still feel like I could easily flip this and maybe ten dollars to $15,000 over MSRP, I should be able to sell it. That may even be a more conservative figure, but I'm going to stick to it because I think that's probably more realistic than saying 20, 30 grand over the MSRP of this vehicle. Now, I do not think that Carvana Vroom or CarMax are going to be anywhere near that value when they're giving me my quote for the trade-in value appraisal. I think they're gonna be much closer to the original MSRP because, well, they're just not gonna be in the world of markups. Now, full disclosure, I actually filmed this exact same video about seven months ago when I took delivery of this car. It was about one week old and it had only about 350 or so miles on it. And I started filming the video and I took it to CarMax to try to get the appraisal. Well, to my surprise, apparently if you have temporary tags, they cannot appraise your vehicle. And so I hadn't received my license plate yet and so I couldn't actually get an appraisal. And so, well, I trashed that video. But we are here seven months into the future and I'm refilming it and reanalyzing this video because I'm curious to see what the value of this vehicle is. Now, I don't think much has changed in the last seven months, except for prices actually creeping up even higher. So I don't think it's gonna hurt my chances if I do choose to sell this vehicle, which I have no plans to do at the moment. But back when I made that video, I actually suspected that CarMax, with the vehicle being about one week old, was gonna offer me pretty much MSRP for it. So 42,000 or so dollars. Here we are seven months later, 5,000 miles later. I'm going to assume they're gonna discount it about 10% from MSRP. So I'm going to assume the value that CarMax is going to appraise the Bronco at is about $38,000. But that is what we're gonna find out in today's video. We're actually gonna head to CarMax right now, 
get the appraisal, and then we're gonna regroup later in the video and talk about all of the different values from the used car buyers, and then compare that to the market value and what I could probably reasonably sell my vehicle for, and then see if my assumptions as of this moment are right or wrong. So without further ado, let's jump into the vehicle and head down to CarMax. All right, we are just pulling up to CarMax just in time for our appointment. I'm gonna head inside and then give you guys an update on what they say. Okay, so they just finished the appraisal process. I am still in the parking lot and it's gonna take a couple hours, but then they're going to email me with the results of the appraisal. So let's regroup back in the garage and discuss the results. For you, that's gonna be a couple seconds. For me, it's gonna take a few hours. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I may have lied. We're actually in the carport, not the garage, because, well, that's where the Hellcat lives. And I also lied that it's the same evening I took the vehicle to CarMax. It's actually the following morning. My CarMax offer came in pretty late in the evening yesterday, so I was not able to film a video because there just wasn't enough light outside. But I do have the CarMax offer here, and I'm probably gonna start with CarMax, then go to Carvana, and then go to Vroom, and then discuss what I have determined to be the market values here in the area. Now, when I say trade-in value and market value, I'm really talking about wholesale value and market value. The wholesale value is what any dealership will pay for your vehicle because then they have to go around and sell it to somebody else, and that pretty much makes up the market value. Okay, now, in all honesty, the CarMax offer surprised me. If you guys recall, 42,000 is the base MSRP of this vehicle. I was expecting an appraisal of around $38,000. Well, CarMax offered me $44,000 for this vehicle. That's a pretty insane amount considering that is over MSRP of this vehicle for a seven month old 5,000 mile Bronco. Now, unfortunately, the numbers only go down from here. I put the same exact information and mileage into Carvana and the offer they got me was quite a bit less at $39,862. That is a lot closer to what I expected CarMax would give me for this vehicle. Now, I would love to give you my value from Vroom, but unfortunately, I still haven't received it. When I input that exact same information that I put into Carvana and CarMax over to Vroom, they told me that they needed to have a professional appraiser take a look at the car because they couldn't give me the offer right away, which Carvana actually did. They said they would send me an email with the value, but as of making this video, they still have not. Now, this isn't the first time the Vroom has told me they would send me an offer, but didn't end up sending anything. I did the same thing with my Hellcat a few months ago, and here I am several months later with no offer from Vroom. So I don't really know if it's like a glitch in their system, and for some reason my information isn't being sent over to Vroom, or if they just don't want to buy the Bronco or my Hellcat, but I can never seem to get an actual offer from Vroom. Now, if you average the two numbers between CarMax and Carvana, you actually get an average sale price of around $42,000, which means I've lost absolutely no value in this vehicle after driving it for seven months and owning it for 5,000 miles. And that's a really nice and reassuring thing to feel. But next step was to determine what is the market value for potential used car buyers or just private owners selling this vehicle on the market. So I did some research on a Big Ben trim with around 5,000 miles somewhere around the area here in Utah. And the numbers are very close to what I estimated this vehicle would be worth on the market between fifty dollars to $55,000. So I did find a Big Ben non-Sasquatch with a little bit less miles at $2,300 and it was selling for $57,000. I found another one with 4,500 miles in the same color, same spec, everything like my Big Ben, and they were selling it for just shy of $60,000. And car gurus listed it as a fair deal. I found another one in the area with, again, slightly less miles at 2,500, and that one was selling for 58,500. Now, I did have a hard time finding higher mileage Broncos like mine, which it's kind of crazy to think that 5,000 miles is a higher mileage Bronco, but that has to do with the fact that I took delivery pretty early in the production process and so obviously I have more miles than the average Bronco. So then I decided to expand my search nationwide and I found one in Southern California for about $60,000 with the same mileage I have on my vehicle. And there were lots and lots of other examples with similar price ranges. So as I'm sure you can gather based on the information I just provided, the average selling price for a Big Ben Bronco with around 5,000 miles 
is anywhere between $55,000 to $60,000. I'm not saying there's not any under $55,000. In fact, I did find one in the high 40s, but I'm not sure if they had any accidents or clean title issues. But I also found quite a bit over $60,000. I think one was selling over $100,000 for a Big Ben Bronco. But on average, between $55,000 and $60,000 is the realistic range for a Big Ben Bronco. That somewhat falls in line with what I was saying, between $50,000 to $55,000. I still think that's probably more realistic because once you start selling and negotiating, you're probably going to drop it a few grand and that's where you get 50 to 55,000. But regardless, I could likely sell this car and make a $10,000 profit from when I bought it new. And that is just an example of how crazy this car market is, specifically for the Ford Bronco, which is still in very high demand and very low supply. It is a fantastic seller's market to make quite a bit of money on a vehicle, which really never happened ever before in history, but it is also a horrible time to buy. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, breaking down all of the different offers I received on the Bronco and just analyzing how the market looks for this vehicle. Hopefully I provided some new information for you all, or at least entertained you in the process. If this is your first time stopping by, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to check out all of the weekly car videos. Also find me on Instagram and TikTok at Schwazy underscore. And until next time, everybody, I hope you stay Schwazy, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day.